Hi again guys, so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today and this time it's for the Nissan Skyline 370 GT Coupe and as you'll have noticed the title of the video is actually for the Infiniti G37 and the reason why I've done that is because these two are exactly the same car except the Infiniti version isn't on the game but most people refer to this car as the Infiniti rather than the Nissan so you want your racing soft tyres as always for suspension we've got the ride height and 100 front and rear may seem quite high but it looks right for this car springs have increased to 975 and 875 dampers and anti-roll to 4 camber on 2, neutral toe as usual for the gearbox I've actually uh, kind of got two setups that you can use for this one uh, there's this setup which is the highest possible auto setting and a final drive of 3.5 or if you put your auto setting to 230 and then your final to 3.3 you get slightly more top speed but far less draft potential for your diff same as usual low initial torque high acceleration and low braking sensitivity all the power upgrades obviously and I would recommend NOS even though I haven't fitted it on this one and obviously you want your weight loss traction control is turned off as always Yeah, so this is a reasonably popular car. I've been seeing more people use this car uh, recently. I'm not sure if that's because people didn't realise it was on the game, or I don't know. I think more people would probably use it if it was under the Infinity dealership as the G37 rather than the Skyline. Because when most people think of the Skyline, they, they don't think of this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice car. I'm not a huge fan of Infinity, but uh, I do like the car. I think it's a very good looking car. Um, as far as the two different gear setups that I said I've done for this one, the one that I'm currently using, which is the longer gear setup, gives you a cruising speed of about 233, but it gives you draft potential of over 270 miles per hour. Whereas the other tune, the 230 with a final of 3.3, gives you slightly more cruising speed, about 236 instead of 233 but you're very close to the red line so you only get about maybe 245 out of it with slip so you know you just have to decide what you plan to use the car for and like which one works better for you doubtless you could get the car to go even quicker and uh, you know feel free to make the tune even better um, personally i think this one's slightly better because although the cruising speed is a bit slower the draft potential is far more but i mean that's that's just me i, I prefer to have more draft potential than actual top speed but yeah it's, it's a pretty quick car for its power and it's a nice car to drive it makes a good cruising car as well and if you haven't tried one i would highly recommend it and that's coming from someone who doesn't particularly like infinities so yeah it's it's a good car i'd say um so that's about it really so as always thanks for watching